Okay, if you're here, you're ready to do some Snapchat chill filter making. This is going to be amazing, and we're going to do it using a little bit more machine learning. All right, so to get a computer to recognize all the different parts of our face, what we have to do is first get that machine learning uh, library that we used last time. So let's first Google ML5. You should Google that yourself. Uh, ML5. I'm not going. Yeah, okay, so we got ML5. You click the link. You might remember like last time you go to get started. You scroll down a little, and there's this little code snippet that we have to put in to our project so we could have the machine learning uh, the machine learning code. So we open up the side, we go to index, you might remember this, and we're just going to copy and paste it over here. This is, you know, right under this thing that says meta, the meta tag. All right, the machine learning is now in our project. The next thing we have to do is enable our webcam. So to do a Snapchat filter, our, our computer has to, like, you know, get some vi a video feed, like the webcam feed. So P5 makes that pretty easy. We're going to do that pretty quickly. So what we're going to say is let video, that's just an empty variable, but we're going to put the video inside of that. Um, for our canvas, I actually want to make this a bit bigger. Let's make this 600 by 600 for this project. Um, and we're going to say video is equal to create capture. That's a P5 function that captures video. And what we want to capture is video. So we're telling this that inside our video variable, we're going to capture video. The next thing we want to do is set the size. We're going to do that in setup. We're going to say video.size. We want that to be the same size as our canvas, which is 600 by 600. And then we're going to show this on the screen. So we're going to say uh, image. This is something new. We're going to put video. And this kind of works in the following. So the, this, the way this works is if you have an image in P5, the first thing you put is what you want to show up on the screen. The position is the next two numbers. So I want it at 0, 0. And I want it to be the whole screen again. So it's going to be 600 by 600. So if you press play, what you should see is you might even see two camera feeds. Ooh, there I am. What up? But there's actually two, which is kind of annoying. Right? So actually, let's do this. If you do video.hide, it hides that second one. So now if I press that, we should only have one. You know what, this looks a little bit stretched out. I like the way the other one was. So let's do 600 by 500. And let's change that to 600 by 500. So change all those seconds, 600 to 500. Let's see how that looks. Ooh, that's much better. Ooh, look at this nice sweater I'm wearing. Ooh, okay, sweet, let's do this. Oh, okay. I'm ready to do some more machine learning. Let me just stop this so I don't have to do that in video part yet. All right, so what you should have is you should have some video on the screen. Make sure the code that you have looks exactly like what I have here. No spelling errors. Now the next part is to add some machine learning into our project. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to create uh, this variable. Uh, and we're going to say let face finder. All right. So this is like where I'm going to store the machine learning that finds faces. It's not a, actually we'll call it pose finder. How about that? Because it actually does more than a face. It does like your whole body. So we'll do pose finder. So let pose finder equal ML5. So we're going to the ML5 library. We're going to use this function called posenet. That's what the that's the um, thing, the algorithm or the function that finds poses. And the thing that we're going to feed into posenet is the video. So remember, video is the webcam, like where we're feeding in the video to this. So great. Now we're feeding the video into this machine learning uh, library that can find poses. Now the next thing is now that we're feeding in the video, we want it to then spit out like the different points that are on our body. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to say pose finder dot on pose. We're going to run a function called got pose. Now right here, I just want to explain what's going on. Pose finder, remember, is the variable that holds uh, it holds the the function that's like kind of analyzing the video. So right now it's analyzing video, analyzing video. All right. Now we want to do something with the output. So we're saying dot on, which means like when you see a pose, we're going to run a callback function. Remember, remember is a function that runs when something else happens. So it's saying, hey, hey, machine learning algorithm, when you find a pose, run this function, got pose. Now got pose doesn't exist. All right, so if you press play right now, there would be an error. It says, got pose is not defined. 
probably already asked me a question about it. You weren't being patient. But let's go down and we're going to actually make this callback function. So we're going to say function got pose. We're going to put here poses and then here we're going to go. So what this function is doing, remember, so what's happening is every time that ML5, the machine learning uh, program, sees a pose, it's going to spit it into this function and then we're going to take something and do it with do something with that pose over here. Okay, so let's see what it spits out. We're, so first I'm just going to do this. I'm going to console log poses. And let's see if anything's getting spit to us. Press play. You got to give it a second. It's waiting, it's waiting. There's a lot going on. It's getting some video. <gasps> and you see the objects. Now these objects are really interesting. That's what has all the data about what it's seeing on the screen. It's doing a lot of analysis. So like right now it sees my hands. It's telling me where all these points are. Now it's going so fast right here that you actually can't, like I can't open them fast enough to show you. So I'm actually going to pause this for a second. And I want to show you what those objects are. Um, it's actually, I have another example of it right here. Just give me a second. I, I just really want you guys to see what those objects are. So I'm going to try this again. This is in a different code editor. All right. And if I go to the side here, you'll see that in the console on this thing, you can see what it's spitting out. So it's spitting out objects right here. So let's open one of these. All right. And let's zoom in. Okay, let's zoom. All right. So you see what's spitting back this object is a pose. All right. It's saying, okay, in the zero object, I got a pose. And you'll see it's sitting back all these different things about the pose. It's saying where I think the left ankle is, where I think the left ear is, where the left elbow is, where the left eye is. It's saying, I think I know where all these things are, right? And you'll see that inside of each one of these, if I open the left ear, it says I have a confidence of 33%. Remember the confidence? I think I can see the left ear, which I actually can't. because You can see that. Oh, let me my left ear. Oh, don't look at my ear. It's all weird. And I think the X and Y position is here and here. You could do that for any of these. So if we look through here, like we're going to use the nose. If we go to the nose, it'll say I have a 98% confidence rating that the nose is at the coordinate 276, 252. All right. So it's guessing where all of these different body parts are, right? Where my right hip is, where all that. And if you move back, see right now I can't see some of them, but now I'll have a better chance at where my hand is. So we can even test that out. Like right now, like where my hands weren't, it didn't know where my hand was before because I didn't show my hand. So let's see, do they do like, oh, they do wrists. So let's see, right, right knee, shoulder, wrist. So if you go to the, before I wasn't showing my wrists, so it had a zero point, it had like no confidence in my wrist are. But if you look, I'm going to go to the bottom now, where it's spitting out the new objects second by second. I'm going to put my hands up. Okay. 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 Let's see what happens. Let's see if it could see my wrist now. So I'll go to one of these new ones that came up. Let's go here. This is kind of interesting. We're going to pose. Okay. We're going down. Let's see if it found, if it had a better chance of where my, so let's see. Ear, elbow, eyes, knee, shoulder, wrist. Let's see if it thought, okay, I guess this is the wrong one. So this also didn't think it knew where my wrist was. Whatever. The point is, it's seeing all these different, taking guesses to where all, all these different body parts are. All right, back to where we are. So that's what's in these objects. Sorry, I can't show them to you. It's just too, they load too quickly for me to show them in this thing. All right, so now that we got all these poses, what we're going to do is we're going to do something with them. We're gonna, we want to get like a little circle to follow my nose around. The way we're going to do that is by creating a variable to hold the nose x position and the, the nose y position. So at the top of your code, let's create two variables, the nose x and nose y. And that's going to kind of, uh, that's where we're going to store the x and y position of our nose. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to say nose x is equal to, and this is where we're going to store the x position of my nose in it. All right, so we're going to go to poses. That's this. That's what was spit out of our ML5. And remember, you saw that zero over there. So if we go back here uh, to this guy, you might remember that at the top of this, you see zero, right? So we're going to access zero, okay? The next thing we're going to access is the pose. So it's giving us a pose. So we're going to say dot pose. And then since we want the nose, we're going to say dot. And if you look here again, uh, you'll have a sheet in front of you that says this. I want the, we can go down. To get the nose, I'm just going to say dot nose, and I want the x position, so I'm going to say dot nose dot x. 
So I'm saying in these poses, I want a pose. The poses, sorry, I want from this pose, I want the nose and I want the X that rhymes. Just copy that down, okay? And to get nose Y, I'm going to say nose Y is equal to poses zero dot pose dot nose dot Y. So now I have the X and Y position of my nose. Um, great. And let's just console log that out just in case. So we can say console dot log nose X. And let's press play, and you'll see that right now, after a little, after it starts recognizing the face, you'll see it starts spitting out these numbers down here, and that's the X position of my nose. All right, now if I move to the, this side, you'll see that number goes down because I'm going closer to the side. And if I go over here, that number goes up, and that's the nose. So now I'm storing the X and Y position of my nose. So how do I do something with that? How do I get a shape to follow it? Well, all we have to do is go like this. Ellipse. Oh, actually, let's take out the console log that's slowing everything down. It's going mad slow right now. So let's take this out. Take out your console log. I'm going to say ellipse, nose x, nose y, and I want it to be a diameter of 20. So that means my I'm going to create an ellipse that follows my nose at nose x, nose y, and let's give it a fill of red so it looks like a little clown nose. And let's take a look. Okay, give it a second. You have to give it a second. Oh, and there's the nose! And we can make it bigger. God, that is so ugly. You know, you can adjust that. And if you move your face around, you'll see that that nose now follows my nose around. So with this, you could start doing other things. So if you want to do like your ears, your eyes, your mouth, you could just start by creating new variables, right? You could say like, let ear X, let ear Y. You go down here. You do like ear X is equal to post. You basically just copy this down. Copy and paste it, that's fine. Go like that. And just change the nose to what body part you want. So if we want like our left ear, what you do is you just look in here. And you look down and says like for the left ear, you just like type in left ear. So we could do that. You put left ear in here. Left ear. Hold on, I'm finishing a video. It's okay, you'll be part of this video now. And that'll be the X barrel. Anyway, obviously people are coming in. I gotta go. Kiss your mother. Peace out. Oh,